Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to talk about what we can expect from the Pascal Mobile Edition of the GTX 1080, which we just got the announcement for yesterday from NVIDIA. I covered the full specs and details on the 1080, 1070, and 1060 mobile versions of these graphics chips, which we found out are really just the full-size desktop versions with the core clocks slightly lowered. And on the 1070, they even went ahead and increased the CUDA core count on that particular graphics card. So I wanted to go ahead and run through some tests here. And I have the GTX 980M actually also as well. So I was hoping to kind of answer the question for maybe some people that are running on a 980M, if it's worth considering upgrading uh, to one of these newer laptops with the GTX 1080 mobiles in there. So I'm going to be testing the GTX 980M, which I have in the Acer Predator 15 laptop up against my desktop version of the GTX 1080. However, to get this as close as possible to the mobile versions of the 1080, I have gone ahead and actually downclocked the card by about 90 megahertz. And the reason I did it by 90 was so that I could get the boost clocks to kind of level out. And you'll see here in the gameplay that I'm showing on the screen with Overwatch, you could see that the uh, the boost clock was hovering right up around 1733 megahertz, which is the advertised boost clock for the mobile GTX 1080. So I wanted to, like I said, try to get it as close as possible for comparison. Now, obviously we are running a laptop versus a desktop PC. So we have other considerations to take into account there. So my CPU, the i7-6800K, I went ahead and turned off the um, Intel Turbo Boost and I also disabled my overclock, which brought it down to 3.4 gigahertz. And the laptop has an i7-6700HQ. So that's really no slouch in itself. And that also has 32 gigabytes of RAM. So the laptop and the desktop PC both have 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and the desktop PC is running off an SSD while the laptop actually has its own 512 gigabyte PCIe's SSD because these Predator 15 laptops are really just basically like the ducks nuts of laptops. If you just take everything you could, could possibly throw into a laptop, that's what they've done here. They just, everything that is top of the line along with the 980M, they just chucked it in there and was like, here you go and shoved it out the door. And you know, they're incredibly expensive, but it, it really is the no holds barred laptop if that's what you're after and just getting you know, the biggest spec that you possibly can and having good cooling and all that so that you can actually even overclock the GPU a little bit, then that's what these are really um, kind of aimed at. So like I said, we're testing that up against the 1080 in my main system, which I did down clock here. So we're going to go ahead and run through the rocking benchmarks now and give you guys a good comparison there between the 980M and the desktop 1080, which is down clocked to represent the mobile numbers that we can expect to see here soon once the laptops do start coming out. And I've also included the numbers for the full size uh, desktop 1080 as well with no, um, no down clock or anything like that, just in case anyone was curious what kind of difference you might see there between a stock 1080 versus a, you know, the mobile 1080 stock. So we're gonna go run through those numbers now, as I said, and uh, let's kick it off.
So we got to look at the numbers there, and the 980M is still doing very well in a lot of these modern titles, only falling behind 60 FPS in a few of the games in Hitman, Rise of the Tomb Raider, The Division, and The Witcher 3, which are all extremely graphically demanding titles. So that's really where you're going to see the benefit kind of of the 10 series is in games like that, and also the longevity, um, you know, in a card like the 1080, even in the mobile chip where it's going to be downclocked a little bit, you know, those 1080s are really going to help make laptops last longer, I think. I think that's going to be um, kind of the best part about having these desktop variants in the laptops, because previously in the past, if you would get a laptop like this with like a 980M, you could really start to see its age in just a year or two as, you know, games started to become more graphically demanding, and you could no longer max out titles, and if you're out there spending, you know, $2,000, $2,500 on a laptop with the highest end, you know, mobile chip that they had at the time, that can be rather disappointing and it becomes expensive rather fast. So now you could look at getting something with this desktop 1080 in the mobile variant here, which is only, you know, a little bit slower than the actual desktop versions. And then you're going to have a lot more longevity, especially if you are gaming at 1080p, as you could see here, really just blowing all of these games out of the water at 1080p. And, you know, I know a lot of the laptops coming out are going to have 4K displays, but honestly, for me personally, gaming on a 15-inch or a 17-inch screen, you really don't need to game at 4K. While you could maybe see some value in the 4K at the desktop with having some more, uh, you know, screen real estate, even then it's still going to be incredibly hard to see, and you're going to have to end up doing a lot of scaling, and not all apps scale perfectly. So I don't know if I would personally even want to get a 15 inch or a 17 inch 4k screen because it would just be I, I don't know it's the text size is going to be incredibly small at the desktop and then game gaming wise you're not going to really see that much of a difference on a 15 inch and 17 inch screen um, you know with pixel density and the way that all works and how far you're sitting from the screen 1080p man it's, it's really more than enough for me on a screen that size but, you know, I can understand some people just want to get the, you know, the biggest and the best. And I, we know the 1080 can power, um, you know, 4K type of gaming. I've done plenty of videos on that in the past uh, with the full size 1080s here. So it's only getting down clock by a little bit. We're only losing, you know, maybe like about 5 to 10 FPS at most. And most of the title here, um, you know, with the down clock 1080 here. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please let me know your thoughts on these numbers down in the comments below. And if you're coming from a 980M or maybe even something older on the mobile series, or you're looking to get, you know, your first gaming laptop, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in these laptops, like, you know, for professional use and traveling around, usually gaming laptops just happen to be, um, you know, like the most, the most powerful ones around, even if it's just for, uh, you know, for heavy workload, like editing uh, video or photo or whatever you guys maybe you're doing out there professionally. Um, I like, that's why I like to look at the gaming laptop. So it's fun for me and I hope it's fun for you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, discuss the numbers in the comments below and I will catch you guys next time. Turn.